Hi friends, it's Deb. I am doing the February update for the same pan last year project pan. This was created by my friend Shelly, unapologetically Shelly. This was done in collaboration with the Fantastic Ladies group, so I will have the information linked below. Your long project starts on the 8th of January this year and will end on the 8th of December, so I guess technically not quite a year. Updates on or around the 8th of the month. Social media hashtag is same pan last year PP. Project is for your neglected items. Use items from the previous year or years past. So how many prompts total are there? Shelly has created 36 prompts all about holidays. They go in order of occurrence, at least for US, and they start with New Year's Day. So for my intro, I started with the first eight prompts, and that took me through January, February, and March, and we will discuss those and go from there. So I was working on number one, New Year's Day, which was January 1st. Pick a new item in your collection. I had purchased the Essence Contouring Palette. I have really enjoyed this for, especially for on my nose. It's just the perfect tone and I did swatch it out right here. It's not warm at all, but it's it doesn't lean gray like a lot of contour shades do. It is lovely and then this is just like a powder shade so I will contour my nose with this buff it out with this and if you are looking for a good contour powder I think this one was only like four dollars it's pretty amazing I want to use it 14 times and today was use number 10 this stays in number two Chinese New Year January 22nd pick an item related to a zodiac animal I chose the dragon and I have this rodeal rodile how to say that the dragon's blood cleansing water I want to finish this and we are to here I use this in here when I'm done filming I will sit here I'll peel off my lashes do a first cleanse take all my makeup off with this while I just sit here and you know clean up my desk and whatever um I use this to take swatches off this has been getting a lot of use I actually really like that it doesn't burn my eyes so I don't mind that one Number three, Black History Month, which is February, a product from a black owned makeup brand. I brought in the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation. I have LN3. I had not used this prior to this project. Wanted to get five uses. I'm currently at number four and I don't like it. It is the bottom of these two. I, I can't pinpoint what it is I don't love about it but when it's on my skin like I do everything the same the same prep the same primers the same powders everything it just it doesn't look good on my skin I don't think so I will get the last use on this and then I will pass it on so if you are fair like me I guess that's you Grace Grace do you want this if you want it let me know I'll throw it in your box and Number four, Groundhog Day, February 2nd, a product that you keep repeat purchasing or are doomed to pan forever. On the other end of the foundation spectrum, I have the It CC Cream. Freaking love this. This is the one I was sent from Buzz Agent, so I just wanted to use it five times and see how it compared to the shade that I normally use. They sent me Fair Ivory, which is this one right here, and it ended up being the perfect shade match for me. Today I'm wearing Fair, just Fair. Either of them work fine, but I really like the undertone of this one. So I did get my uses on it. This one is rolling out. Number five, Valentine's Day, February 14th. Item that is red, pink, heart-shaped, or love-themed. I have the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Love Drug. Oh, I didn't swatch this one. Shame on me. It's right there. It is super pretty. I want to use it 14 times and I'm currently at five. That will stay in. Number six, Women's History Month, which is March. Anything from a female owned brand. I chose Fenty. I have one of their cream lippies and this one is in Candy Milk. 
I wanted to use it 14 times and today was use number six and it is this top one right here. Uh, it's really pretty. I don't know why I don't use it more. I should, it's lovely, it's a lovely formula. Number seven, spring. A spring palette or item you got last spring. I have this YC Collection blush in watermelon. It is this corally pink color right here. It is so pretty and I love this formula so much. It just comes on like a little doe foot. I usually tap it on my hand and then take my brush, tap it out and then put it on my face and then tap it out with a sponge. These came in a boxy charm as a set of two. And I think I decluttered the first set and then I pulled them back out and I was like, oh, okay, whatever, I'll try it. I'm so glad I did. <laughs> Number eight, St. Patrick's Day, which is March 17th. Green item or leprechaun item, pot of gold or small. I have the, okay, this isn't the exact one, but I have the Grande Brow Serum, the full size. I forgot it by my bed. So I just grabbed the little one I have here in my makeup drawers. It's the little Grande Lash. This is just this is just a prop though, but it covers the uh, pot of gold. It's a small item. I don't, it's worth its weight in gold. Anyway, that'll be in probably another two months. So I finished one item, but to keep kind of going the way that I started this, I am going to roll in all of the items for April. The first thing that I'm going to roll in is for number nine, April Fool's Day, which is April 1st, an item you feel like a fool for buying. Last year, I panned an Honest Beauty lip balm. It was one of their tinted lip balms, but it was in clear. And it, that thing drove me crazy and I complained about it the entire time I panned it. I didn't think the formula was moisturizing and it was clear and it was just, stupid to me but I finished it and in BoxyCharm a few months ago they had an actual tinted one this is in plum drop and I wanted to see if maybe tinted in this formula made sense so I purchased it it was three dollars I think so I purchased it I'm going to roll it in I want to use it 10 times and it is this swatch right here Hold that thought. The next item is number 10, Easter, April 9th, a pastel item. I am going to bring in the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. I just finished my night cream, so I will bring this one in. And I believe the jar is also, yes, the jar is also that pretty lavender. <clears throat> number 11, Earth Day, April 22nd, an eco-friendly item or a clean beauty product, etc. I went with Burt's Bees. They are considered a clean brand. I brought in one of their, is it a glow, gloss and glow balms in Wine Wednesday. So this is the swatch. One of these is the swatch. This one, this one right here. So they look very similar. And as I was reading up on these, these are both dupes, the Honest Beauty and this one. They are both dupes for Clinique Black Honey the Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey, which is viral again and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so as I swatched out both of these formulas trying to decide which one to roll in, I decided just both. So I'm going to use each of them 10 times and see which one I like best. And for no other reason than I'm just curious. <laughs> And then the last thing I'm rolling in is for number 12, National Makeup Day, April 26th. Any makeup item that you want to celebrate. And if you could see my swatch on my hand, this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil, the Robin Eisenberg Collab in Lunar Landing right there. And I just want to do five uses. So a little recap. Although I've already lost something. Oh no, I didn't, just kidding. So I'm going to finish the moisturizer, use each of the Black Honey dupes <laughs> 10 times each, and then use the liner five times. And then uh, the only thing that was done was this. And 
yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, please go check out Shelly and watch her intro and she will explain everything way better than I ever could. And yeah, just thank you for giving me some of your time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I really hope you're having a good day or night. I love you a lot. And you guys are my people. Love you. Okay, let's do that. Oh, awkward. If you are looking for a good contour powered, what the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to make shit as complicated as possible, why would you ask?